good people this is the one and only fighting gm and today i'm gonna do a matchup analysis of when i fought against jdcr at defender north 2019 um i played lee chala on the whole tournament till i got top eight and then i when i was putting the losers playing lee chala on, i switched to geese and now this match is gonna be army king versus geese howard so uh a little lower about this match um I played against JDCR a lot throughout my whole years playing Tekken. So I had a lot of matchup knowledge of how he plays Tekken and, and Koreans in general with the movement and then the option select, you know, your pokes or movement and spacing and all that. So I have a lot of matchup knowledge on um, Korean play styles and the way he plays. Plus, he was in New York that weekend and I was able to play him in a lot of sets on his stream. So I kind of tested a little play style against him, which is pretty much do enough mids and situational mids where it'll, it'll stop him from options selecting so much in the match and, and to stop him from fuzzy guarding so much. So yeah, that's basically what I did. And uh, let's watch the set right now. Perfect. And now I'm not sure which one GM will go with me. So I decided to play Geese Howard in the set too because he played against my Lee a lot. And these monitors were pretty laggy, and I was dropping a lot of Lee stuff. So I went with Geese, man. Geese, for Tekken 7, Geese was my go-to character. He was a character that I won a lot of tournaments with. And um, he's my, you know, he was my tournament character. So I went straight to Geese in this set. Plus, I knew JDCR has trouble against Geese, too. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I had the mindset of playing Geese Howard. And Geese Howard's mids are good enough to, to, to pretty much condition him and keep him on check from options, selects, and to backdash and stuff like that. This is semi, so it's a first of two. Right. So it's he'll only dash. have, if he loses, he'll only have one opportunity to really decide whether he wants to change it. And yeah, he's, he's, he's hot. Yeah, yeah it's really, hot. It's, it's really hot, hot in there. Hot. But yeah, I told myself hot. I was just going to play geese. Like, like eat, win or lose, I was going to play geese. Right. I didn't care uh, anymore. OGN, if you're listening, you got to make you some breathable shirt lines. I'll buy them. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't, I didn't know, you know what I'm saying? I didn't really care if I want to lose. I just wanted to play geese. He had a hoodie under him. Ridiculous. Like, not really any right, let's just move forward. Sure let's take it long. Let's go. But how can we make another king if that just bursts into a... Oh, yeah. The thumbs up! The thumbs up, let's get it. Oh, there's the <laughs> smile. The smile. There's the smile. Alright, we're going straight to Armor King versus Geese. And yeah, let's get it in Armor King versus Geese Howard. Yep, I went, I went straight to Geese Howard because... Why not, right? Straight to Geese Howard. Okay, no throw break. So down for one, down for two. You saw how I did down for one, down for two. That was in case if he backdash or slice up left and duck to evade my down two or my down four. That was to keep him in check. Option select in case he wants to move him. So a lot of this game is a lot of DF1s. You see DF1, DF1, down for two. DF1, jab, DF1. You see? He keeps fuzzy guarding up close to, to auto low parry my lows. So I keep checking him with down for ones, down for ones, down for ones to keep checking. Cause I know he's gonna just fuzzy guard a lot and options like C4 1 plus 2. I'm keeping it, you know, settled. No throw break again. Yeah, my throw breaks were a little funky to set. That's fine. Down for one, yep. Hit him with the counter hit. Bond side step three. Down four. Okay, now we good. You see? Just gotta wait. That was really nice. He side step left and dark uppered my shit. But trying to do back three two. I'm probably dead this round. Yeah, let's go straight to it. Yep. Dead. In that situation, I could have down forward two them instead of back three two And I would have got him or standing four would have worked out too. So I had two options to deal with um with the joint he just did there. Okay, now we spacing down forward two. Nice, I ducked. Down for one, down for one. Yep. Trying to catch him in case he wants the option select with his movement. So I'm just keeping it seat. You see when I ran up in the down four on him too, I ran up in the down four on his face. Because from that distance, he likes to backdash and duck lows depending on the distance of the move so the down four was going to check him right there so that's why i did down four in that situation that up close like that see he wasn't able to fuzzy guard and backdash and duck it see down for one down step. i did i size up in the day f2 to mix up the side step three yep throw break see i'm just keeping you see he keeps trying to auto low parry you see that that's why he's getting you see the down for one he got hit with down for one four because he tried to duck the second hit right there. So as you can see, I'm I'm getting him. I'm getting him. In case you see, he did a quick 
quick duck there too. And you see he fuzzy guard. He he ducked and then stand up straight to block my down forward too. So that's why I'm doing a lot of DF1s up close like that to stop him from fuzzy guarding and auto auto guessing so much. So that's one thing with this game. It's a real 50-50 heavy game. So a lot of people's in a fuzzy guard. So it's really hard to open people up in this game. If they play a specific way. You see, down for one, down for one, down for one. So he kept fuzzy guarding. He got hit with every DF1 in that situation. So that was my main game plan to stop him from fuzzy guarding and to stop him from the, you see, what he likes to do, sidestep duck. See, he's trying to sidestep again. You see, I'm poking him up with DF1s. Up close, very offensive game to literally stop him from all the options to like he likes to do. You see, I'm chipping him up, chipping him up, chipping him up. He getting chipped up. Damn, yep. Nice dark upper. I shouldn't have done that standing four right there. I got a little uh, greedy on it. Bomb, bomb. That's good. Good shoulder. Back three, two. Down for one, one. Down for one. See, I'm chipping. Down for one. Nice. You see, he keeps auto, auto low parrying, right? To try to hit me with stuff. But I'm opening him up so much. Oh, he tried to duck the second hit and launch me. Yep, low parry right there. That's because he keeps fuzzy guarding every time I pressure him. Yeah, he keeps fuzzy guarding every time I'm... I'm that's why I constantly kept doing DF1s, DF1s, DF1s to catch him from the low parry, uh... The low parry boys, right? You see, again, he tried to... Right there, after standing four, he tried to low parry my cross jab. He got df one one out of it. Because that was a geese setup, uh, standing four to cross jab. In case they wanted a jab. That was nice. He options to like my thing with that with that move. Nice. Yep, poking him up, poking him up. Good. Yeah, down four. So basically, as you saw, I did really good in that round. So um so the game plan that I have is working really well. So all I needed to do now is just keep doing the simple game plan that I was doing, but um, just keep doing it and, and try not to do for chip lows too much because the game plan was working. I just I just whiffed a couple of times, and um, he made he made some really good reads in, in, in that situation. He made some really good reads in that situation. So, so now we're going to see what's happening next. In the next game, uh, if I remember correctly, I did some good whiff punishment in this game. So, yeah, we're going to see what happens with this game, right? Nice game, man. Let's get it. See, he's flexing. He's getting it in. Yeah, we about to get it in right now. Double red pook in. Let's go. See? No throw break again. Yep. Broke the second hit. At least it's a mix-up. So, yeah, get off me. Broke it. Down for two. He saw he fuzzy guard again. Every, right when I ran up and approached him. Yeah, a lot of top players fuzzy guard a lot. So you have to be careful. You have to switch up your timing on your mids and lows a lot. Top to three. See, I did it up close. He didn't duck it. Back three, two. But no meter. Yeah, down for two. You see? Traded. Now he's going to go to the ward. And this is an Army King special combo. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Red pool can. Now side step low. Yep, down for two. Oh, he tried a hop kick. He ducked it this time. He got it. It looked like I was going to lose this round, this match, but it looks like we got to see what happens now. Spacing. Spacing back and forth. Yep, that was a whiff punish. I whiff punish his down forward one with a launcher. Now he's going to the wall. Bomb, bomb. It's a specific combo, too. A lot of damage. So we playing good. I'm playing really good. I just need to keep playing compact and not whiff. But we playing good. We playing good. We playing solid. We just gotta break more throws because he's kind of like that's pretty much the only thing I'm really getting hit by. I think uh, offensively I'm beating him. Like on the ground, like I'm doing really good on the ground. See, he's fuzzy guarding a lot still. A lot of fuzzy guarding. Wow, he didn't break the throw. Nice. I dashed up neutral one one two them in the face to to punish him. So that's really good that that happened in that situation. Yep, duck the clothesline because you could sidestep up and then duck to avoid the clothesline. Now he's going to the wall. Bam, bam, one plus two. Sidestep, yep, low. See, fuzzy guard again. Well, he's fuzzy guarding a lot. So that's why I'm barraging him with a lot of mids and stuff because he keeps fuzzy guarding. You see, he keeps fuzzy guarding after everything on block. And that's the cheap thing about fuzzy guarding in second six. 
I mean, Tekken 7, is that it avoids a lot of um, offensive tools. Yep. After my low, he sidewalked and got hit with while standing three. So that's what happened in that situation. Because I knew he's going to step in. While standing three has really good um tracking. See, with punish the while standing four. So my with punishment is really good in this set right now. Now he's going to the wall. Let's go. That's a lot of damage. Damn, I should have did something. I should have did something that did, uh, damn, man. I should have did the, the full Jake and the EX. Yeah. I did the size, to, I did the back dash duck on him. All right, so we doing good. Wow, this matchup is intense. Very intense. Of course, he picked for guy in realm because that, that stage is cheesy for Armor King. Every time he scoops you and every time he knocks you down, he gets a full combo every time. So this is a very strong stage for Armor King. So let's get back into it. We got one, two, down for one, down for one, low poke, down for one, down for one, low poke. Yep, they came in, got counter hit it. I could have knocked him on the floor, but I didn't. Yep, all of him. He he blocked my unblockable. Yep. You see? Just chipping them up, chipping them up. He's had really good poke game, man. You could just rush somebody down with pokes. I missed that. I really missed that. We chipping them up. Down two. Yep. Catching them. I'm switching my timing completely. Well, that was really nice. Ducking the down forward 1-1. One, one. Scoop me. Right to the wall. Ba bum bum. Yeah, that was an accident. I didn't mean to do that for, for nothing. Yeah, so my main game plan is basically just to stay in his face and barrage him with mid pokes, mid pokes, mid pokes. Oh, he thought a crouch jab was coming, so that's why he hop kicked me. I got apprehensive. I didn't do the crouch jab, but I just got a little fidgety. That's why I'm like, damn. But my game plan is working though, the barrage in him to stop him from fuzzy guarding. See, he tried to he tried to um low parry right there. He got hit with DF one 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 after staying full. So I'm chipping him up. I'm actually beating him on the ground, which is crazy, right? Like, I'm out neutraling him right now. Damn. Now, when I say that, I got whiff punish for trying to do back 3 2 from half screen. Yeah, I didn't break this. I'm not dead. Yep. Well, that, that joint hit me on my back. Yeah, I'm getting it in. I have no fear, man. I miss playing like this. No fear. Look at that. I have no meter. Oh, he, he's just been throwing the hell out of me. He hasn't been using 4-4 neutral 2 at all. Wow. I, I wonder what he tried to do there. There you go, DF1, DF1, DF1. He tried, he tried a uh, fuzzy lock guard. All right, let's see what we do. You have jab him up, jab him up. Let's go, keep it, keep it on deck. I tried to whiff punish right there. Nice low parry. I knew he was gonna go low. Get away from the wall. Get away from the wall. No, that was so f bad. Oh, that was a big whiff. I'm, I'm panicking. I should have did back three two right there. If I would have, if I would have back three two them right there. Oh, he messed up. That was it. Yeah, I got lucky. I got lucky. Yeah, he tried to dark up on me right there. Yeah, he tried to dark, he tried to dark up on me. But yeah, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that was it, man. I popped off, you know what I'm saying? So basically in that set, I just played a superior ground game. My ground game was really, really good. I fought him on the floor, not a lot of combos, not a lot of, I didn't do no geese specific stuff really. I didn't do no parries. I hit him maybe with one cross jab, but the whole game that was just like pure, that was full-fledged neutral. That's what that was. So 
basically in that set, my whole mindset was just to stop the fuzzy guarding, stop the 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 constant fuzzy guarding, low parrying, backdash duck, side step duck, and just barrage him to the point that he can't fuzzy guard my pokes. And then I could like literally really establish my poke game. But Geese has had the great offense to be able to deal with the something like that. So yeah, I hope you guys like my video. I hope you guys um enjoy my content. Um, be sure to subscribe, be sure to follow, and let me know what other matches you guys want me to talk um, over or analyze of mine. So thanks, everybody, for watching. Check out my, my, my Twitch stream, FindGM underscore Tekken. Uh, the YouTube is FindGM. You already know what it is. The Twitch, the Twitter is FindingGM. The TikTok is FindingGM. The Instagram is FindingGM. So just check me out on everything, and I stream every single day, all right? So guys, take care, be safe, and be solid, and thanks for watching.